Hey guys, uh, here is your work for today. Um, here are the rules. Um, if your substitute approves, you can listen to Pandora and keep the volume reasonable and make it a reasonable station. Um, you can use your technology if your substitute approves and if you're abusing the privileges, then um, you can have that privilege taken away. Um, so just please make sure that you're judicious in that process. Um, you're going to take the survey questions that you did uh, in the computer lab and make sure that they're um, in Spanish and that they're in good Spanish. Um, and you want to make sure that you have what they mean in English next to them so that when your classmates are, um, if they're confused when they're talking to you, you can kind of give them a hint or two in English. And that's okay to give them a hint and show them what you've written um, if they're having trouble understanding your spoken Spanish. Um, because some of the vocabulary and some of the things you're saying are um, a little bit more difficult. They're a little bit more advanced. But don't um, don't take it don't take too much advantage of that. Um, ask your classmates your questions. Um, jot down the responses or just keep a tally. If it's yes no, that's fine. If it's questions that are open ended, you just have to figure out how you're gonna mark that on your paper. You need to ask a minimum of 10 people each of your questions, so you have to make sure that you're managing your time wisely um, and, you know, make sure you get that done so that you can have good results for me when I come back. Um, your data is going to be organized in charts. You want to make a minimum of seven charts um, because you had a minimum of seven questions. If you have more, that's fine. But um, if you're managing your time, I would just make sure that I have the minimum there. Um, make it colorful, make it look nice, make it neat, readable. Um, each chart should have one sentence that explains the data. And I'm going to show you a, an example of that in just a second. And each chart should also have another sentence that explains a thought or an opinion that you have about that data or about the question itself, okay? Here's an example. Uh, my question is about choosing the characteristics of a baby before conception. ¿Piensas que es ético escoger las características de tu bebé antes de la concepción? So, on your paper, you've got little tally marks where people said sí o no and make sure they do understand the question and they're just not, you know, saying sí or no. And make sure that people aren't marking on your paper that you're actually speaking to them and taking down their responses, okay? Don't take shortcuts because this is um, all in an effort to help you practice your pronunciation, to practice communication, things like that, okay? Um, so this is how I might do my graph. I would put the question at the top and then at the bottom I have um, just a sentence that kind of tells what's going on in the graph. I might give percentages or I might say the exact numbers or I just might say something general about what that information tells me. Um, and then the second sentence kind of gives my personal opinion or, you know, um, something, you know, if, if I think um, maybe the statistics are um, not in line with what I've read about, I mean, you may want to do more research on it, look up a couple of statistics. You might say, you know, nationally people believe that this is a good idea or something like that. So it's up to you kind of how far you go with it, but this is kind of the minimum of what it's going to look like. Here's another example of just kind of a different question. This will be an open-ended question. So, ¿cuál es el avance te tecnológico que te impresiona más? So, here I've got different people giving different answers. I don't necessarily have to put their name there, but it's just kind of one of the ways that might help you, you know, organize your data. And then I kind of did a chart, 
you know, a different kind of chart. Remember, you've got all sorts of graphs. You've got all sorts of ways. Does it have to be a graph? Not necessarily, um, but you need a visual way that kind of makes it easier, easy to see the information. Um, so I put the question at the top again. I did my two sentences, one that explains the information that you see on the graph, on the chart, and then the second one that gives an opinion or, you know, something similar. Okay, so um, remember, have fun. I'll see you Thursday. I'm in the Media Center. Um, you can text me, Snapchat me, stuff like that as long as it's academic related. And um, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can because I'm real busy with the orals. But um, I'll keep a lookout in case you need something. Um, I think that's it. Have fun, behave, and don't take shortcuts on this project. I really want you to do a good job so that when it's time for you to do your speaking uh, next year, you'll be set. Okay? And I want you to do a great job on that.